Hi. I'm here to talk to you about head mice, nits, body louse, and pubic crabs. There is a difference. As the human population grows, so too the infestations of parasitic bugs that thrive on the human body. In fact, contrary to what some believe, head lice, body louse and pubic crab infestations are not exchanged by other mammals but are species specific to humans, and humans only. In other words, these critters cannot survive on any other mammal, with the exception of pubic crab lice that have been found on apes. Let's start with the terminology. Louse is the singular form of lice, meaning one. Lice is the plural form for more than one. Nits is the name for the eggs of lice. These terms are often used interchangeably and can become confusing. Now that you know the plural and singular forms let's move right into the differences between head lice. Body lice, pubic crab lice, head lice. Head lice or pediculus humanus capitis lives only on the scalp and lays its nits on the hair of the head. They are small, flat wingless insects similar to look of fleas though their bodies are lighter in color. They do not fly or jump but crawl very quickly. They feed on human blood but pose no health risk other than, in some cases, a perpetual itching which could lead to scalp inflammation or infection caused by scratching the area to relieve the irritation. With the constant flow of international travel and immigration, head lice infestations have been found among every race, geographic location and class of people. It is, and may never have been a symptom of poor hygiene but simply an indication of close human contact. The greatest percentage of head lice infestations appear in children from the ages of 3 and 12 with more cases being found in girls than boys. This may be due to girls having longer hair, sharing of brushes or playing together in closer proximity than boys. Lice infestation requires treatment. They multiply quickly and will infest any and everyone that comes in contact with the host in no time at all. Detection and treatment is vital to protect against an outbreak at home, in school, and throughout the community. Here's what to look for to determine head lice infestation. Though late in the, the infestation, the most obvious symptom is itching or a child complaining of feeling like things are crawling on his head. Grab a fine tooth comb and spread hair to look for those tiny flea-like insects near the scalp. The lice themselves are quick and may be difficult to see so the next best indication that is easier to see are the nits on the hair follicles. These nits will look like either brown, yellow, purplish tiny dots stuck to hair follicles close to the scalp. These are the unhatched eggs. Hatched eggs will look more like dandruff that will not come out of the hair. These eggs in incubation or hatched condition will not come out with simple brushing. The glue in which the lice attach these eggs is a lot like super glue and must be treated with an over-the-counter prescription or proven organic elimination product. Many, from experience, will tell you that head lice evolve to survive. They become resistant to treatments, which often means it may take several attempts with different or repetitive treatments to eradicate the infestation. It is for this reason there is such a wide variety of head lice treatment choices. Most are reputable, some are scams. There are chemical-based products as well as powerfully effective organic options. Whatever treatment of choice, choose quickly and treat immediately. Body lice. Body lice or pediculius humanus corporis is believed to be a subspecies of head lice since they look very similar but target different parts of the body. While head lice lives in the hair, the habits of body lice are different in that they live and lay their eggs in bedding and or clothing and only come out to feed. Body lice are less common and are most found in deeply impoverished areas where nutrition and hygiene is wanting. Symptoms of body lice infestation include severe itching in the area of infestation.
small, red and swollen bumps or welts. Tenderness felt, most often found around the base of the neck or torso where the body lice may be feeding. The treatment for and eradication of body lice requires thorough washing of all clothing, bedding and body. Standard laundry detergent with hot water setting and the hottest drying setting should do the trick. Wash and dry body with unused soap and a clean or new towel. Everything must be washed that the victim of body lice has come in contact with. Try to discover the source of contact and apply the same thorough wash purging treatment to this person as well. Pubic crab lice. Pubic crab lice or Pythiris pubis are really difficult to see since they are very tiny, rounded body with crab-like leg parasites that attach themselves mostly to the pubic hair of the human body. In rare cases they can be found in a mustache or in armpit hair. Crab lice spread mostly through sexual intimacy and sometimes through the sharing of personal hygiene items such as a hairbrush towels or even clothing. The indications of pubic lice infestations will often be light to severe itching, macula or tiny, hard to see blue-gray bumps on the skin, and skin breaks or redness and swelling indicating possible infection. Treatment for pubic crab lice should include a doctor's examination. Though an over-the-counter treatment may work, a prescribed topical treatment containing lindane may be the most effective. This is not recommended for children under 6 however, since it is a controlled substance with potential reactionary risks. Note, this article is not intended to replace medical advice, it is for informational purposes only. As the human population grows, so too the infestations of parasitic bugs that thrive on the human body. In fact, contrary to what some believe, head lice, Body louse and pubic crab infestations are not exchanged by other mammals but are species specific to humans, and humans only. In other words, these critters cannot survive on any other mammal, with the exception of pubic crab lice that have been found on apes. Let's start with the terminology. Louse is the singular form of lice, meaning one. Lice is the plural form for more than one. Nits is the name for the eggs of lice. These terms are often used interchangeably and can become confusing. Now that you know the plural and singular forms let's move right into the differences between head lice, body lice, pubic crab lice. For more information, click the link below. Hope you found it useful. For more information please click the link in description.